we're back again girls, we've had afternoon tea, we're just doing the finishing touches to my bracelet because we had to take um, one of these links off. It was just a little bit big on the wrist but it, oh gosh it makes a lovely sound. <coughs> so final couple of bits and I've got some really pretty fancy rings which you probably can't see the detail of but they've got a little um, pattern on them haven't yeah, they? Yeah it's like a twisted rope so we're going to use those just as a little um, final bit to make it look pretty. We have a war wound. Yeah I'm bleeding. Sorry I just knocked the camera. So, okay so I'm going to pop that on there. Courtney while we're just working here would you like to show the girls um, your artwork that you're working on for your man for Valentine's Day. She'll be doing it on a canvas but this is just her process work. Okay so th there it is there. So it, this is what John does, he plays with the hair all the time so it's a, a really lovely picture. Courtney's also doing the um, willowing course that Courtney was an artist before that. What I'm actually doing is doubling up and using two jump rings. Oh. Just to give you that bit of extra strength at the Pivotal clasp. point. Yeah, because the clasp is an area that you might end up putting some strain, yeah. extra strain on. So just using the two jump rings just gives me that bit of extra strength. So we are very nearly there. I'm just going to do the same and put two more here to join it up and we'll just then check it for length. And while Sonia's doing that I'll just show you some more of Courtney's artwork. Oh hang on, where are we? There we go. Sorry Son. That's alright, I can see what I'm doing. There you go. So I've used two jump rings to attach two of the pretty little um, patterned rings and then another two jump rings to attach the half a clasp. Oh, that's a clever idea. So that'll be nice and strong. And I'm just going to put that last jump ring up and reinforce the connection to the clasp at the other end. And we're very nearly there. I just need to open my jump ring up a so bit I'll wider. Leave your tools over yep. here. Because the um, chain's fairly thick, you need to get your jump ring open a fair way to be able to get in there. Get that around there. And if we can do it without dropping everything. Close this last one. Michelle has done almost all of this. I'm just putting the final touch or two and it does not want to fly. Ah, there we are. Beautiful. A strong jump ring. Okay, so. Okay, we'll test it out. Wait for the jangle, which is the important bit. Oh. War wound on display. Alright. Okay. Oh. Okay, jangle, girls. jangle. Look at that. Can you hear it jangling? Michelle likes it when her bracelet yes, jangles. Yes, I do. I like the sound. Mm. So there we have it girls, one finished charm bracelet. Featuring gorgeous Featuring, little yes, charm, um, fragment charms of yeah. Timmy's. And the paper was? Uh, of course, steampunk debutante yeah. with, with one vintage um, music paper in between. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get me some of that because it is so cute. Really nice. It looks yeah. great. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> okay girls, that's it for another day. See you tomorrow. Bye.